Beauty is washed away with tears of tragedy. Like the flowers in this park, there is a seed inside us that brings back the joy of color, beauty, and life. Like the trees, if the roots of a community are strong and firm and deep, we will bend but not break in the storms. Laughter is brought back with the playground and play area inside. The sun will rise and set in this park to remind us that daily life goes on. So thank you everyone for bringing your heart to our sanctuary of candles tonight. Tears and laughter, meditation and remembrance are all welcome and encouraged. There were five candles on the table inside. They are in memory of Constables Brock Myrall, Leo Johnston, Peter Scheman, Anthony Gordon, and fifth for all peace and police officers, soldiers and frontline workers across Canada. But the candles are also the light of faith, courage, memory, hope for the future, and the strongest of all, the light of love. You lit your candles from them, but not one of the flames of the five candles was diminished by it. That's the beauty of love and light. It's meant to be shared. You now carry a piece of that flame for those whose flame was extinguished, but who stand proudly in our hearts. So why a candle lighting service? For faith that can lift our hearts and renew our spirit each morning because the biggest candle of all, the sun, rises to greet us. For courage as the light drives away the darkness and every candle spreads the light to a new corner of our lives. For hope for ourselves and to inspire us to share that hope with everyone we meet now and in the future. For solitude, contemplation and reflection of memories the flame creates a place to meditate in our hearts and still our busy minds. For love of all, to illuminate our better selves and highlight the beauty in each other. As Albertans and Canadians, we embrace that love. And so, as a community of friends, we pause with our candles and our thoughts to remember those standing with us in the circle tonight, our four guys and the obelisk. 